<clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Kraken Packs with Josh. We're on tonight's episode. We're gonna be opening up this little uh, midnight hunt bundle box, <clears throat> as well as some extra set boosters. Um, yeah, should be a good episode. Um, before we get started, just wanted to say uh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Um, I hope you guys had a good day. Um, I hope you're able to spend some time with the family. And I also hope that you're able to um, to en enjoy what you're be being thankful for, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> I know during COVID it's been kind of hard to focus on the good. But, um, but yeah, I hope you guys um, are fully appreciative of everything that you're thankful for, you know what I mean? Like for me, honestly, I'm, a, I'm thankful that I'm still doing this channel. Um, I'm thankful that I still have people who watch this and appreciate the content that I make, so to them I say thank you guys so much. Um, it means a lot, the fact that I'm still doing this. Um, and yeah, I really couldn't do it without, um, without the support of the people that I really care about. So again, thank you so much. Um, I also want to say thank you to um, my family and my friends. Um, just in general, thank you guys. Um, I'm very thankful for the family that I have and the and the. Oh, what is that? <laughs> um, before we get distracted, um, for the family that I still have, I'm thankful that I haven't lost anybody. And same with my friends, you know. Um, so again, thank you. Um, so this is a random insert in this box. Uh, the Moon of Innistrad, and the Traveler's Prayer of Sagarda. Yo, holy shit. Whoa. Dude, this looks crazy. Um, so this is a card in the set. Um, it's some, some sort of, like, a focus or something. Um, I forget what it's called. Hopefully we'll pull it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're doing more Midnight Hunt. Long story short. <laughs> Um, me, I was foolish. I totally forgot <laughs> that, um, that Target and everything would be closed today, because I was trying to do, um, trying to do Crimson Vow today, but me, being dumb, totally forgot that the stores are closed. Alright, so we have, ooh, look at the color on this dice. Yo, that's weird. It's, it's like a cream, almost. Hold on, sorry. Didn't realize the light would fuck up with the focus that bad. Um, but look at that! Nice! Like, solid red, almost, like, copper, uh, um, for, uh, for the letter, for the numbers. And then, like, it's like a, a white, almost, like, cream-looking, uh, dice. That's really weird. <laughs> um, let's see, what else is in here? So, of course, we got our packs. Um, let's put those to the side. Um, now, a weird thing about these new bundles, um, this, I think this is the first time, someone correct me if I'm wrong, this is the first time that the set, um, the bundles included set boosters, instead of just regular, uh, draft packs. Um, which I think is interesting. Okay, so we got lands, cool, more lands, for the land box, and then also comes with a promo of, oh my lord, how the hell do you pronounce that? Triscal Triscalcaldefolite. Jesus Christ. Hold on, let's get this out of here. <laughs> I'll take one more crack at that name, and then I'll just give up. <laughs> like, good God. Just make it easy for me, Magic. Come on. Okay. Triscaldecaphile. Triscaldecaphile. Um, I'm gonna need to look that up if that's a real word. <laughs> um, okay, so two drop, one three, human wizard, you have no maximum hand size. At the end of your upkeep, if you have exactly 13 cards in your hand, you win the game. God damn, that's cool. Dude, that's nuts. And then pay four, draw a card. Dude, that's cool. Hold on, let me, let me sleeve up that one right now. <laughs> and then we can, uh... 
We can check out the packs. But yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. I also like how like how um how evil that uh, that wizard looks. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice, beautiful. Um, it's been a long time since we've done one of these, <laughs> and so it's been a long time since I got one of these like cool little uh, promo cards. Love that shit. Hell yeah. And then these are the foil lands. Good shit. Good good shit. More lands for the land. <laughs> for the land box. Alrighty, now, you know what, here, I'll leave that, like, up there. But now for the goodies, we're on to our set boosters. Um, I also added, uh, three set boosters that I bought, uh, just by themselves. So we are opening, uh, 11 packs today. And, uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. Um, I think we've done enough of this to know what we're looking for, so I'm not gonna show you guys again. Um, but just in case... Um, we are looking for, ooh, yes, the full art cards. Hell yeah. Look at this dude. Nice. Who are you? Um, Arrogant Outlaw. Nice. Okay. Hell yeah. We can dig that. Still a very, uh, Halloween vibe <laughs> in, uh, in November. Um, okay, so Planes, got Candle Trap, got Shadow Beast Sightings. Yeah, we've seen all of these. Um... But yeah, let's let's um let's just have a little chat, you know what I mean? Um ooh, okay. So we got Village Watch. Cool. And then we got Galvanic Iteration. What the hell? Okay. Um two drop when you cast your next instance or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. And flashback. Damn, that's cool. Okay. Sure. I'll take that. Nice. Put that over there. And then, uh, Foil Hedwig's Mask. Sure. And then, uh, a token. Sure. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys had a good day. Um, again, I hope you're able to spend it with your family. And if not, um, you know, I mean, there'll, there'll always be other days, you know? I know this year has been a little difficult, especially with COVID still being around. Um, but yeah, hopefully we don't have to deal with it any, anymore, or anytime soon. Hopefully this is the last holiday season that we have to deal with it. Um, so is this the full art for the mask? Oh, Dawnheart Rejuvenator. Oh, okay, yeah. Nice, I see. Cool. That's pretty. Um, playing with the leaves like that? That's nice. Um, but yeah, so... We did our Thanksgiving... Um, a little early. We did ours yesterday, which was nice. Um, we actually went out to a restaurant. Um, my uncle recommended it. And, um, yeah, it was pretty nice. I liked it. It was our first time there. Um, bit of a local one. Um, ooh, what is this? Augur of Autumn. Uh, three drop, two, three. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may play lands from the top of your library. And then Coven, as long as you control three or more creatures with different powers. You may cast creature spells from the top of your library. Damn, that's cool. That's nice. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, and then we got a, a Foil Plummet. And then, uh, oh, wait. I think this is a card from the list. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, so Stasis Snare. Um, three drop... Enchantment with Flash, when it enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield. Nice! So, um, a, a Flash, uh, Path to Exile, pretty much. Nice, good shit. We take that. I also love that art. Is that a... Is that Eldrazi, or is that a... Is that a Sliver? Can't really tell. If it's Zendikar, it's probably, a. um... It's probably uh, Eldrazi, right? Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, long story short, we went out to a restaurant. Um, it was really nice. Um, a little expensive, just gonna say. Probably just because they were like, yeah, you guys are doing Thanksgiving dinner at our place, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, all in all, it was nice. Um, got to visit our... Um, my aunt, who wasn't able to make it, so I, I spent today hanging out with uh, my cousins and my aunt for a little bit, which was nice. Um, really appreciated that. 
And then, um, yeah, I came home. Um, my brother made dinner, which was delicious. Um, and yeah, all in all, all in all, just had a really good day. Um, Cigar to Splendor. Okay, I don't think we've seen this. Uh, four drop into the battlefield. Note your life total. Oh, wait, no, we have seen this. Yeah, draw a card. Life total is greater than or equal to the noted life total from Cigar to Splendor. Then note your life total. Yeah, 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 we remember this one. Um, yeah, white life link, you know, kind of obligatory. Um, ooh, look. Uh, foil werewolf. Nice. What's the back look like? Oh, yeah, nice. Hell yeah. Whew, okay. Um, but yeah, all in all, I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Um, and, um, yeah, just a, just a couple of things I'm thankful for, you know, like, I know um, COVID's been hard on a lot of people, but um, there's also been some good things to come out of this year, um, like uh, like me getting a car. That's that was a big one. Um, very thankful for that. Um, was also also very thankful for um, for my trip to Las Vegas during the summer, which was good. Um, also very thankful for um, for my aunt who is now a uh, recovered from cancer um she's going into can uh into uh surgery on monday which um i'm looking forward to so uh auntie if you're watching this um i'll be praying for you and um i can't wait for you to get better <laughs> um so we have reckless storm seeker i don't think we've seen this one yet um three drop two three at the beginning of combat uh target creature control gets one zero and gains haste and then it has a flip, which is Storm Charged Slasher. Dude, look at this werewolf. Um, at the beginning of combat, on return, target creature control gets 2-0 and gains Trample and Haste until end of turn. Nice! Hell yeah. Dude, we love that. Ooh, and look, another one. Uh, light up the night. Uh, X in a red deals X damage to any target. It deals X plus one instead if that target is a creature or a planeswalker. Damn. And then flashback three, remove X loyalty counters from among plane walkers you control. Cast a spell this way, X can't be zero. Hmm. Okay, that's weird. Interesting. And then diagraph for it. Sure. Nice. We take that. We take that. <laughs> um, but yeah, a couple other things I'm thankful for. Um, I just... You know, I'm not going to say names, but I just heard from a friend of mine that uh, they got into a car accident the other night, and I am thankful that they and everybody in their car was safe. Um, I was really scared when I heard about that, but thankfully they text me and they're like, yeah, no, we're cool. It's just my car looks bad. <laughs> and um, yeah, you know, that, like... As much as that sucks, I'm thankful that they are still alive, you know? So, um, so yeah. Ooh, look at that foil planes. Hell yeah. Ooh, that's going in the, that's going in the, uh, the land pile. <laughs> but yeah, it's simple things like that, you know? Like, the fact that somebody I know actually was able to walk out of a car accident, you know what I mean? Somebody that I care about. And boy, howdy, am I thankful for that. <laughs> Um, okay, so we got Dire Strain Rampage, 3-drop, Sorcery, Destroy Target Artifact, Enchantment, or Land. If land was destroyed, its controller may search their library for up to two basic lands, put them onto the battlefield, tap, and then shuffle. Otherwise, its controller may search their library for a basic land, put it onto the battlefield, tap, and shuffle. Oh, okay. So you sacrifice whatever and get a land, but if you sacrifice the land, you get two. Okay. And then, like, flashback, five. Hmm. Sure. Alrighty. Nice. And then, um, we got Hungry for More, Foil, uh, Greedy Vampires. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, long story short, I was really excited to buy, um, uh, Crimson Vow, but, uh, my dumbass totally forgot <laughs> that, um, today was not a good day to buy it, because everything shut down. <laughs> so, um, Hopefully next Magic episode we'll be able to show off um, some new cards. Look at this. Ooh, look, it's, it's Teferi. Hell yeah, dude. 
Um, Teferi, who slows the sunset. Nice. Hell yeah. Um, you know what's crazy? We've opened up so many of these art, or these, um, these packs. I still have yet to see, um, Teferi. Um, because that's the thing. We, uh... I think we got the, um, the whatchamacallit, the, uh, the werewolf one. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much it. <laughs> like, we haven't seen any, oh, wait a minute. Ooh, look at this. Okay, overgrown farmland. Um, I'm only looking up the price because this is, a uh, alt art land. Which means this might be something? Uh, no, nah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, no? Oh, yeah, like four bucks. Okay. <laughs> but still, we take that. Nice. Um, enter the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more lands. Simple. Nice. And then add a green or white. Cool. And then, oh, what the fuck? S slow Gurk, <laughs> the overtime or over slime. Uh, three drop three three with trample. Whenever land card is put into your graveyard from anywhere, put a one one on the over slime. <laughs> Remove three one one counters from it. Um, was that? Return it to its owner's hand. Oh, okay. And when he leaves the battlefield, return up to three target land cards from your graveyard to your hand. Huh. Okay, so it's kind of like. It's almost kind of a uh, Golgari esque, like putting stuff into the graveyard, getting big, but then it like going back to your hand, and then getting lands out of your graveyard. That's really cool, dude. Could I make an ooze deck? Ooh, I might make an ooze deck. <laughs> that sounds hella cool. Alrighty, and then oh, we got Hound Tamer. Look at that boy. Look at that good boy. Look at that good boy. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then ooh, another card from the list. Um, Shivan Meteor. Hell yeah. So, um, 5-drop sorcery deals 13 damage <laughs> to target creature. Talk about fucking overkill. My god. And then a suspend cost for 2? Holy shit. Damn, that is so good. Or, er, for 3. Suspend 2 for 3, sorry. So, rather than play this card from your hand, you can pay 3... And remove it from the game with two time counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove a target a time counter. When the last is removed, play it without paying its mana cost. That shit rules. That's fucking crazy. Nice, yeah. And then you can also see down here, you get the little logo. Um, I think that just means that it's a list card. Uh, hold on, let me double check that. Because we got that other one earlier. And, yep, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, good shit. Um, I'm always curious whether or not it's more money effective to get more set boosters instead of regular boosters. Uh, I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, because by the looks of it, like, you're guaranteed at least one rare. But it looks like you could get two or more. Um, but yeah. I also just really like these full art cards. Like, look at that. Who is she? Fucking marry me. Like, dual wielding crossbows? Like, hell yeah. Bloodthirsty adversary. Man, imagine, like, showing up to, like, a vampire party as, like, the lady with the crossbows. Like, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Um, let's see what we get in here. I'm still looking for Planeswalker. Planeswalker would be nice. <laughs> um, we got Geist Flame Reservoir. Oh, okay, so... 3-drop artifact, when you cast an instance or sorcery spell, put a charge counter on it. Pay 2 and tap it, remove any number of charge counters on it. Uh, it deals that much damage to any target. And then also 2 and tap it, exile the top card of your library, you may play that card this turn. Hmm, okay. Sure. We take that, alright. And then Brimstone Vandal, Foil, cool. And then um, a card I don't care about. <laughs> um, oh. Oh no, okay. <laughs> I was kind of concerned that this pack was already opened. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think... 
Wait, now, now that I think about it, have we seen Arlen? I might be wrong. Um, oh, jeez. I wonder if, I wonder if I just, uh, Wing Shredder. Okay, yeah. But yeah, I'm wondering if we actually pulled, uh, Arlen, the, uh, the Werewolf Planeswalker. Um, I am gonna have to check that out later. <laughs> um, wait, hold on. I feel like I missed something big. And I did not. Okay. <laughs> um, we got Mysterious Tome. We got uh, Bane Blade Scoundrel. Oh, there we go. We got a Angel Fire Ignition. Okay, three drop, but two 1 1 counters on target creature against Vigilance. Trample, Lifelink, Indestructible, and Haste until end of turn. Damn, that's great. And then Flashback 4. Good shit. Good fucking shit. Ooh! Ooh, is that a foil rare? Oh no, it's a, it's an uncommon. Okay, but still infernal grasp, cool looking. Appreciate that. And then um, okay, so I think we're down to our last three. Yeah, we're down to our last three. Um, but yeah. So all in all, um, I've been thankful for a lot this year. Um, I can definitely say a lot of bad stuff has happened this year, like um. Like our dog passing away, which was really bad. Um, but I can also say that a lot of good happened this year. And for that, I'm very thankful. And again, I can't stress this enough, I'm still thankful that this is a show that I get to do, you know? Like, <laughs> like it feels really nice, and I can't appreciate you guys enough. Oh, look, it's, it's, it's what's-her-face. Lind, Cheerful Tormentor. Yeah, we've seen her before. Um, I'm gonna just read it again. Uh, 4 drop 2 4 death touch. Whenever curse is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, return it to the battlefield attached to you at the beginning of the next end step. And then at the beginning of your upkeep, you may attach a terse curse attached to you to one of your opponents. If you drew, do, draw two cards. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, good shit. Uh, curse commander. You love to see it. Um, ooh, haunted ridge. Okay. Enter the battlefield tab unless you control two or more lands. At a black or red. Cool. Cool. You love to see it. Hell yeah. And then a foil path to the festival. Nice. And then a, uh, a clue token. Clue token? Yeah. Clue token. <laughs> sure thing. Um, but yeah. Again, I can't think, can't stress this enough. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you guys for subscri subscribing and for watching the videos. Um, ooh, what the hell is this? Oh my god, that's that's fucking scary. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, who who are you? Uh, insectile aberration. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, because he looks like a fucking bug. Sure. <laughs> um, okay, so we got swamp. We got all this stuff. We got these things. Wait, was that a rare? Nope. Okay. <laughs> um, we got Timeless Hauler. Um, oh, look, hey, it's this dude again. Uh, Kessig Naturalist. Fucking vamp, uh, werewolf. Uh, ooh, Rite of Harmony. Okay. Uh, two drop instant. When a creature or enchantment enters the battlefield, under your control. Uh, draw a card. And flashback four. Okay. That's Dece. I do love that art. That looks fucking rad. Hell yeah. And then we got a foil uh, Dreadhound. A uh, fucking demon dog. Which, hell yeah. Look at that art. Yo. That looks dope. Hell yeah. Ooh, nice. And then we got a card from the uh, from the list. Uh, reality Shift. Two drop instant. Exile target creature. It's control and manifest the top card of their library. Um, that means they put the top card of their library onto the battlefield face down as 2-2. If it's a creature, it can be turned face up any time for its mana cost. But only if it's a creature. But yeah, nice. We've gotten a decent amount of list cards out of this. Um, I mean, 11 packs and three of them are list cards. Like, that's those are good odds. <laughs> Um, hell yeah. Oh, look, nice. It's, um, it's what's-her-face. 
God, I always forget her name. Kindle Grove Witch. Yeah. We um we got two different art cards with her on it. Which, hell yeah, right? <laughs> good, good shit. And then we got a mountain. And then we got a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, see, honestly, I'm just I'm just really excited to check out Crimson Val. Um Ooh, look at this. Okay. We got Vadric Astral Archmage. Three drop, one, two. If it's neither day nor night, it becomes day as Vadric enters the battlefield. Instance and sorcery spells you cast cost X less to cast, where X is his power. And whenever day becomes night, or night becomes day, he gets a 1-1 one, one counter. Nice, that's solid. I could appreciate that, that's good. And then a uh, Tavern Ruffian, foil, cool. And then an upside down zombie token. Cool, alrighty. Good, good shit. Okay, so before... Sorry, let me clean these up real quick. Uh, actually, leave that out. I don't know why I put that away. Um, but yeah, before we check out the cards, let's check out the uh, the art cards that we got. Um, so we got Candle Grove Witch. Uh, we got Insect Dude. Um, oh, I don't even remember reading the name of this one. Overgrown Farmland. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got this dude, freaking Wing Shredder. We got Crossbow Lady. We got Teferi. We got Howlin' Boys. We got Demon Dude. Uh, what was it? Ormondal. Yeah, Ormondal the Corruptor. Uh, we got a bunch of dudes. We got someone playing with the leaves. And we got a vampire. <laughs> Alrighty. And then, let us check out the rest of these. So starting from the bottom, we got Badric, Astral Archmage, we got Reality Shift, we got Right to Harmony, we got Haunted Ridge, we got Lind again, we got Angel Fire Ignition, Geist Flame Reservoir, we got Shivan Meteor, we got Slowgurk the Overslime, <laughs> which I'm I really want to make like a slime deck out of that. That seems really cool. Um we got Reckless Stormkeeper, we got Cigar to Splendor. We got Stasis Snare, we got Augur of Autumn, and we got Galvanic Iteration. Yeah, some, some good shit, some good cards. Um, let me just put that right there. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, it means a lot, and I appreciate you guys a ton. Uh, leave a like if you liked it, subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Uh, bye, I love you, and uh, yeah, stay safe. And again, Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>